Hey, what's going on guys, it's Sam, and today I'm really, really excited to bring you guys a story that I am personally very interested in. It's in the life extension space, which a lot of you guys probably know is one of my passions. Uh, these researchers in this study that I'm gonna be talking about extended the lifespan of mice by 17 to 35% using an experimental treatment. Cannot wait to talk to you guys about it. Let's get into it. So first off, I wanna give huge credit to the two people who conducted this study, researchers Darren Baker and Jan Van Dersen. So the big breakthrough with this study is that the researchers found that if they could clear the senescent cells, basically damaged cells in your body that aren't dividing anymore and are secreting a liquid into your body and damaging other cells, you can extend lifespan by as much as 35% and stave off all sorts of diseases, ranging from heart disease to Alzheimer's to frailty and more. More specifically, the way the study worked was that the researchers first genetically modified mice so that when they injected them with a specific drug, it would identify the cells that were senescent and cause them to commit suicide basically, otherwise known as apoptosis. It's unclear exactly why this treatment worked so well, but one of the leading theories based on this research is that the liquid that the cells that are damaged secrete actually promotes tumor growth. So in my opinion, there were two really interesting things about the study other than the finding that they were able to dramatically increase these mice lifespans. So the first is that these mice had longer health spans, if you will. So one fear uh, when it comes to dramatic life extension that a lot of people have is that they, they could get older with these new technologies, but they'll just have a lower quality of life for longer in life. They won't you know, be energetic at 100 years old. They won't be healthy or happy at 100 years old. And that has always been something that I have been upset with because if we're gonna extend lifespans, we're probably also going to extend the amount of time that you can be happy and healthy. So these mice were a perfect case study of this. And then the second really interesting thing about the study, in my opinion, is that the mice were treated every two weeks starting halfway through their expected life expectancy. And the efficacy of the trials were only about 50 to 70% of what the researchers were hoping for, which was removal of 100% of the senescent cells. Instead, it was only clear, able to clear that 50 to 70%. So that made me think, what if they treated them maybe daily or multiple times daily for their entire lives? And what if they were able to increase the efficacy of the treatment from 50 to 70% of their senescent cells to somewhere between 90 and 100% of them? Would they be able to live 80, 90, 100% longer than mice who didn't have the treatment? Those are the kind of things that are going to stir up so much more uh, research into the space. Those are the questions that are gonna make people so interested in this. And that is why this is such a huge deal. So I'm sure you guys are wondering when this is gonna to come to human trials and if this could ever help you. And the answer is that possibly and sort of. So uh, because this technology was used on genetically modified mice, unfortunately, the same trial, the same uh, experiment, the same drug cannot be used uh, on non-genetically modified humans. Uh, the problem with this is that the only reason why this drug was able to find and uh, encourage uh, apoptosis in these senescent cells was because of a marker that they were able to find because of the genetic modification. What? However, one of the lead researchers uh, for this trial, Jan Van Dersen, who I mentioned earlier, has already created a company that is working on finding compounds that can clear senescent cells in non-genetically modified humans. So it looks like we might have something similar soon, and it looks like we might have something identical or even better than this trial in the next couple decades. I'll keep it uh, on my radar. I'll try and update you guys. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please do me a favor, support the video, show me a like rating, and uh, I'll come back next Monday with more videos. Just want to throw this out there because I, I know I didn't in my outro just now. If you have any ideas, any constructive criticism, I hate it, I love it, I hate this part, I love that part, more of this, less of that, stuff like that. I'd really, really appreciate your guys' feedback in the comments below. Uh, shoot me a message on Twitter. Um, don't send me a YouTube DM. I don't check those. I have like way too many of those. Um, but yeah, just try and get a hold of me with your feedback because I really, really thoroughly believe 
in listening to you guys. It's part of the reason that I was able to be so successful uh, when I made Call of Duty videos, and I think it'll be crucial to my success now. So um, the time that you take to leave a comment um, and the time you take to uh, show your appreciation by liking and favoriting the video, all that stuff is super, super appreciated and super, super helpful. Can't stress that enough. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys soon.